Hello, dear students. Welcome to EPG Pathshala. I am Dr. A. Satyamurthy, Assistant Professor, Cum Sports Physiotherapist, Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda University, Faculty of General and Adapted Physical Education and Yoga. In this session, we are going to see the safety appliances in sports and their uses. The learning objectives of this session are to know about the safety appliances in sports, to understand the importance of it, to know sports related protective gears, to know the varieties of sports gears available in the market and finally, to understand sports injuries in relation to sports gears. Now, let us see what are the safety appliances or protective equipments in sports. By going with the definition, protective equipments or anything used or worn by a sports person in order to minimize the risk of health or safety. These include a wide range of clothing and safety equipments. In general, protective equipment refers to clothing, helmets, goggles and other garments or equipments used by the sports person which are specially designed to protect the wearer's body from injury or infection by going with the other things or being precise. Protective clothing refers to sports related clothing and garments. Protective gear refers to pads, guards, shields, masks and etcetera and so forth and so on. Why we need sports appliances or protective equipments? To go with the sports appliances or protective equipments serves an integral role in maintaining the safety of an athlete participating in a sport. The safety equipment rules are being followed in all categories of sports so that the injuries occurring and their two issues are being reduced. Many sports are played in different types of surfaces and in different lighting conditions, different altitudes, number of players, durations for example, 120 minutes, 90 minutes, so forth, high contact to no contact etc. Keeping this in mind, the sports safety appliances are designed and used. Now, let us see some of the determinants or factors that are to be considered in choosing the protective equipments. They are the playing surfaces the most important, for example, like gravel, grass, water etc. What does this say? Grass, water, according to the gravel conditions, grass conditions, water conditions, the equipments have to be designed and the lightings, duration of the game. For example, if the game goes for a long time, the attires used by the sports person should be light so that he can run throughout the duration without any difficulties. In altitude, for example, tropical region, high altitude. In high altitude, the dress code, the garments design should withstand the cold, ultimate cold conditions. And number of players. For example, in rugby we have many number of players. In high contact, there are many people come together. To withstand this collision, the dress attires and the protective gears should support the athletes. And the type of the game, for example, indoor, outdoor. And if you go for the contact and non-contact games, for example, if you go for boxing, to withstand the punch, the attires used should be good in good quality. And finally, comes the clothing and the garments. Now, protective gears for specific spots. Let us now see the specific protective equipments going by the site. The site means the individual segments of our body. To mention they are protective eyewear in relation to the eyes, 
mouth guards in relation to the teeth, gums, tongue and lips, helmets in relation to the head and scalps and most importantly at present is back of the head, the occipital area. The helmets are also designed to protect the face in some sports. Safety pads and guards, the most important attires in relation to trunk specifically designed to protect individual segments or as a whole in respect to the type and need of the game. For example, like ribs, abdomen, joints, forearm, thighs, chin, genitals, hand, fingers, etc. Next, the footwear and athletic shoes. They play in relation to the ankle and foot and need for the game. For example, sprints, marathon, cricket, football, indoor and outdoor surfaces. Next, clothing or garments in relation to the type of the sports. For example, swimming, cycling, fencing, boxing. If you sw see swimming, clothing and garments in relation to the type of the sports. For example, swimming, cycling, fencing, boxing, etc. If we see swimming, the dress should be designed such that the water does not harden or dampen to the dress, so that the performance is not bothered. Firstly, let us see about eye gears. What is eye gear? It is commonly used for protecting the eyes from particles, light, wind blast, heat, sea spray or some type of ball or puck used in the sports. Now, the term used is goggles. Goggles are the term used for the equipment to enclose or protect the area of the eye in order to prevent particles, infectious fluids, etc. In the event like swimming, goggles protect the eyes from salt or chlorine in the water. Next, we are going to see mouth guards. Mouth guards should be worn in sports activities where there is significant risk of injury to the mouth, teeth and face. By using mouth guards, jaw fractures, gum injuries, TMJ injury that is temporomandibular joint injury. When the contact games are being played, a direct blow over the jaw will give an injury to the temporomandibular joint which may dislocate or even fracture the joint. To absorb the forces, impact forces are reduced. Next, we are going to see about helmets. The helmets are used by the sports persons to minimize the occurrence of head or brain injuries. For example, boxing, cricketing, football, cycling, skiing, baseball and motor sporting and many so. The usage of helmets are mandatory in some games and are recommended in some games. The helmets are specially designed and tested according to the need and impact created by different types of sports. For example, a baseball helmet cannot be used by a cyclist or a boxer. The helmet should be designed in such a way to fit the player's head thereby preventing damage from wear. As we all know, the cricketer Phil Hughes of Australia who was a victim to the sports injury after which a revolution happened in designing the helmet. The situation was when he was playing the ball, the bouncer ball which has hit at the back of the head that is the occipital area which caused an injury and finally proved fatal. And after that a revolution changed the designs in the helmet. Now we are seeing some of the helmet models. In the top three, the first is the cricket helmet, the older model. You can observe in that model, the back portion is empty. The second is the rugby helmet, fully covered with the face mask. Now the third image shows the cricket helmet, new model. If you observe that model, you can see a back protection protecting the occipital region in which even a heavy impact can save the head. In the bottom three, we have the hockey, boxing and fencing helmets. This gear is very important as the head injury causes serious injuries 
resulting even fatal. Now, let us see the safety guards and pads, the most important equipment in the sports. They are used to protect the body parts as a whole or in segment wise. To save it in any sports, the pads and guards are to be worn to reduce injury to the neck, shoulders, chest, elbows, arms, wrist, hips, thighs, knees, shins and ankles. The safety guards range from hard plastic to soft padding, depending on the type of sports played and expected occurrence of injuries. The safety guards range from hard plastic to soft padding, depending on the type of sports played and expected occurrence of injuries. Now, let us see some examples. Please carefully observe the images. The, the top, top four, the, the first, first is the, the neck, neck guard, guard, which guards the, the neck along with the clavicular portion. That is, this is the neck portion with the clavicular portion. And, and the, the chest, chest guard in the sport, sport taekwondo, taekwondo protecting, protecting anterior chest, chest wall. wall. Here, Here the, the kicks are given in the chest to protect that it is designed. Next, Next chest, chest guard for, for the game, game cricket, cricket protecting, protecting ribs. ribs. Protecting this is the area where the guard is worn. If the ball comes and hits here, it protects the ribs. Next is the chest guard for the game hockey. As you all know, the ball traveling at a greater speed from the player reaching the goalkeeper at no time to absorb or withstand the force from the ball, this is designed. Next, the bottom three are the chest guard for the game rugby. Reducing the impact created by collision and, and safeguarding the chest structures. As you all know, know collision, collision creates the injury contusion, very dangerous, very, very painful. painful. Next, next being, being the, the shoulder guard and, and the elbow, elbow guard. guard. In the next slide, the top four showing elbow guard in the game ice hockey, the forearm guard in the game cricket. And the batsman plays like this, here is the forearm guard the ball collision absorbs the impact. Next, the tie guard, that is two types, pad type and skin type. And the bottom four figures showing shin pad in the game cricket, protecting the impact of ball hitting the tibia bone. Next, tights, whole body also available segment wise. It is most commonly used at present in all the games, which gives a soothing effect and a comfort effect to move the segmental parts. Next comes the socks for various games. This plays a vital role as each game has different patterns of socks to be worn. Selection of apt socks is important for optimal performance and injury reduction. For example, like anklet socks for the game tennis. The last image showing the shin guard for the game hockey to reduce the injury called contusion occurring due to impact of ball on the shin bone. Even fracture of tibia is reduced by using shin guard. Now, let us see about the footwear, the important component. In sports, footwear plays a major part in protection and injury prevention. An optimal selection of footwear is needed to have an efficient participation by the sports person. In soccer or football, Cleats with plastic spikes are worn for traction and to reduce the risk of injuries from falls. Running shoes are worn by athletes and are designed for optimized pronation and minimize overuse of the feet and ankle joint. Cyclists wear shoes that protect the feet from pain and allow for safe fast pedaling. Now, in this slide, let us see some of the examples for footwear. Please observe. In the top four, first, football boot with studs. Second, hockey shoes designed with greater grip to play on the turf surface even in wet conditions. As we all know, the turf is watered during the play. You might notice in the sole small points in the shoes. This gives a good grip to the turf and also good friction, which, uh, which keeps the foot at a flat level without any damage. The third being the athletic shoes with spikes used for sprinting events. This shoe should not be used 
during normal circumstances that means while walking. Next is basketball shoe with ankle support. You can observe the ankle support like a wings specially designed to protect the ankle from sprain due to jumping activities or techniques in basketball. In the bottom three, we can see the cricket shoes as first for gripping the surface while bowling, ice hockey shoes with skates, indoor shoes designed for indoor surfaces having good grip and anti-slipping too. Now in this slide, in the top three, the running shoes used for long distance events. Note the flatness of the sole that is very important. In the second image, the spike shoe with spikes shown, care to be taken to replace the shoes when the spikes are worn out. Even though we have variety of footwear, the wear and tear causes impressions in the soles and pain in the foot. To reduce it, specially designed sole, full sore or heel pad can be used as an additional factor to reduce the injury. In the bottom three, we have first is the heel pad. The second, the patellar tendon strap and the third, elbow strap, which can be used to reduce the injuries to be occurred, for example, in the game, tennis, golf and cricket. Now, we are going to see about clothing and garments. Sport specific garments play a vital role in sports performance and injury prevention. The apparels include track shoots shorts, t-shirts, tennis shirts and polo shirts. Sports specific specialized garments are also designed to meet the comfort and performance zone of that particular game. For example, wet suits for swimming, diving or surfing, ski suits for skiing and leotards for gymnastics. Importance has to be given in choosing proper underwear such as the jock strap and sports bra, etc. Sportswear should be typically designed and also light weighted so as not to encumber the wearer. Thermal insulation is another important factor that is needed for the wearer. In hot situations, the person should stay cool while in cold situations, the person should stay warm. Moisture wicking fabrics are to be considered in designing the sportswear. It should provide moisture control for an athlete's skin. The sportswear should move perspiration away from the body to the fabric's outer surface where it can evaporate to regulate hydration. The first image is swim shoot for women. The second swim shoot for men. The third is the ski suit. These are specially designed to adapt for the temperature, playing surface, swimming in water, skiing in ice. The suit controls temperature and allow active participation in the event. If you carefully observe the suit, you can see the proper fixing over the body. It does not mean it restricts the movement. It allows the movements very freely. That is the important of these suits. Now we are seeing the leotards especially designed for gymnastics to adapt for the flexibility shown by the athletes. Each type of gymnastic event takes a leotard modification to custom suit the individual. If you carefully observe the three leotards of different types, which is custom made, the black one, the last, is custom made to suit the individual to their flexibility and does not restrict any movement pattern so that they can perform gymnastic very effectively. Now, we are seeing the track shoots for men and women also used as casual wear. This plays an important role because this suit has high value as the personality of the individual is uplifted and the psychological stability is achieved. Now, let us see about jack straps. Many of the sports person does not have the updated knowledge of what type of jock straps are to be used as the injury to the genitals cannot be avoided. In this slide, the first jock strap used in the game of hockey, the second is the jock strap used in the game of cricket. 
This slide shows the jock strap used in boxing. Now, let us see sports bra. For the optimal and safe participation of female athletes and female players, sports bra plays a vital role. Selection of optimal sports bra reduces the risk of chest injuries too. Finally, let us see the need and importance of sports appliances. Increase in number of people engaging in sports activities, the percentage of injuries has also been increased. By using protective equipment while playing sports and its related activities, there is a chance of reducing the occurrence of injuries and will make sports participation safer. However, it is important to use the apt productive equipment meant for the particular sporting activity. Using a pair of spike shoes in the sprinting event helps to protect the ankle from ankle injuries as the nails help to provide a firm grip. However, using the same pair of spike shoes for running will cause serious injuries. Now, let us see about the culture of safety. What is the culture of safety? That is, imparting the importance of and the necessities of using the sports appliances in the sports. It is important for us to understand the importance of safety appliances in sports as sports is an unavoidable situation for all age categories. Kit usage and its necessity awareness is an important culture to be developed for all age groups especially for the kids so as to prevent the injuries and other circumstances. There is a recent statistics which shows the importance of imparting the sports appliances necessities. Approximately 3.5 plus million children under the age category of 14 receive medical attention for sports injuries annually. This statistics shows importance of using sports appliances. Out of the injuries occurred, 21 percentage of all were traumatic brain injuries, which shows it is out of the injuries occurred, 21 percentage of all traumatic injuries were brain injuries. This shows how much important is the usage of sports appliances in the games. Out of the injuries, 62 percentage of all youth sports related activities occur during practice. Not surprisingly, one third of parents admit to taking less safety precautions during practices. This is because there is no awareness or not just awareness the importance of using the sports equipment and safety appliances. And basically, there is no awareness of how to use, how to maintain and so on. And the next statistics shows that children aged 5 to 14 account for 40 percentage of all sports related injuries treated in emergency room. That is, this statistics exactly shows that the culture of using the sports appliances and safety appliances is reduced among the children because all the children are the main age target group for all sports injuries. By using apt sports appliances and protective equipment, it has the advantages like increasing the self confidence level of the sports person, next well trained to maintain physical fitness improves the level of active participation due to personality traits allowing the individual to be in the field or ground or court. By having optimal protective gears and clothing, the mood of the participation is increased for the sports person which in turn increases active participation and allied achievements, finally reducing the occurrence of injuries. My dear students, hope you gathered the knowledge of safety appliances in the sports and its usage. While using these, professional guidance is recommended for optimal performance and durability. Kindly refer further studies with this presentation as a guideline and follow safe and standard guides in sports for allied achievements. All the best dear students. Thank you.